Mmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome to my latest mod for Tabletop Simulator, and this is Deus, which is a really cool game that I particularly like. Now, just before I get started, this is kind of like a, a modification of a mod that already exists. There's already a fantastic version of Deus on the Geek, uh, on the workshop, called Deus Plus Expansion, and it is uh, by Jonathan Broom. And all the scans and everything, all the, all the work, all the major work is done by him. What I've done is added a whole bunch of the scripting that I enjoy for my personal playing. And I just thought I'd share it. But most of the work is from him. I've done all the scripting and added all these bowls and stuff. So everything else is by Jonathan Broom. So thank you to him. So basically... Deus is a really cool little game, uh, but one of the things that's interesting is that it has this expansion called the Egypt Expansion, and the way this expansion works is that all these cards replace all the original cards. So they basically uh, are deleting... If you play Deus, you don't use any of the Egypt stuff. If you play Egypt, you don't use any of the Deus stuff. And that is just the way I've set up the script. Now, I don't really use i've never played the the egypt expansion so most of the egypt expansion setup isn't complete yet but i don't know when if i'm going to get around to it because i'm very strapped for time and uh basically in tabletop simulator i usually just play what i own personally and that way when people come over i can play that with them the point is if you're playing egypt you just click choose egypt and it'll clear off all the Deos, but it'll leave all this stuff here because I don't know what to do with it. Otherwise, click the Deos button to play the, the base set. Now, you'll note that I'm in multiplayer you know, hot seat mode because like a lot of my scripts, it takes how many players are sitting down to calculate how to do the setup. So at the moment, I've set up for a three player game so if I click Deus, you'll note that no one's sitting at blue, so the blue seat is going to be deleted, as well as all these cards being moved to the to the deck zone. So bam, and yablam. You'll also note that it created these little pools of uh, resources, and they've got readouts. So if like if you take one out of here, it says now it says eleven, and that's because if we look at the setup depending on how many players you have different uh, hard limits to the resources. So it's five resources per type per player. So if you're playing with three like we are, it's three by five, that's 15. And if you're playing three players, you have six temples instead of seven, etc., etc. So you'll note that it's deleted the, the temples. So there's only six temples. And you'll note that it says 12 up the top. That should say 15, right? Well, not quite, because every player also gets one resource of each type. The point is, it's now set up, and you're now basically ready to play. The only other thing is that because, like I was saying, I'm very strapped for time, I haven't scripted the board setup, so you still need to do that yourself. So the best way to do that is just shuffle the tile deck. It will already be shuffled, but shuffle it again and just drag it out and drop it on these little gray helper markers. Now, if you look at the setup instructions, it tells you the shape says that shape for two, this shape for three, and this shape for four. So we're playing a three player game. So I'm just gonna go bam, you blam, you blam, you blam. And you don't even need to do it exactly the same if you want to have it unusual like that. It's more the amount of tiles. But technically it should be something like this for a three player game. And then you can just right click on these and go delete them to just get them out of the way. The other thing you need to do for this setup is you need to basically rotate these randomly. So if you come up here, you'll see that rotation is set to 60. If you leave the rotation set to 60 degrees, every time you hit the Q or the E button, it'll rotate it correctly around. So what I do is I just tap Q a billion times and just move my mouse all over the place until I've spun them a whole bunch and that's like a random setup. 
Now, of course, the instructions say that you can't have two barbarian villages touching, so I'll just do that a couple more times. And there you go, I've set up the board. All that remains is to add VPs. Now, the VPs, again, it's all written in here. Uh, the VPs is just, you add a VP for each touching, uh, for each area around the village here. This is this, this is where it says it here. So for every space next to adjacent to a village, it gets a VP. So for example, this one here, oh, also it's a good idea just to hit the L button to lock these tiles down then. Uh, so this one here, right, is six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So just go one, two, three, four, five, six. This one here is one, two, three, four. So that's just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's one, two, three, four. And this one's one, two, three. Okay, so that is set up. So what I'm saying is here that the board doesn't set itself up. You'll need to do that. Apart from that, we're now ready to actually play. And finally, there's just a little more that you have to do. Basically, everyone needs to draw the amount of cards. I think it's five cards that you have to draw. I might even add that to the script that I've got because it doesn't take much to do. Yeah, so you take five for each people. So everyone just puts their mouse over the deck and hits the five button and they take their five cards or whatever. Anyway, so this is what kind of look, this is what the orange player looks like when he's first set up. Uh, there's just a little things to look at. Basically, you've got your VPs and your gold. Now, of course, these are counting bowls. So if you take them out, it automatically counts for you. But if you want more VPs, just hit take. So if I want to five more VPs, I'll just press the button five times quickly in succession. It'll only start sending after you finish pressing. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, out come five coins. If I want uh, another two gold, I just go one, two, same deal. In addition, you've got these buttons here for the resources. So say I play a card that earns me to uh, clay and a wheat. I just click those buttons and in it comes and you'll also see that I have a readout of those values. Anytime you want to get rid of something, just drag it into the bin. Okay, so like if I drag a coin into the bin, it just gets destroyed. If I drag a VP into the bin, it gets destroyed. But if I, if you look at the bowl at the top, if you the bowls at the top, if you drag in any of the uh, resources, they will automatically be sent back to the uh, back to the bowls. Okay, so if I grab these, I drop them in the bin, then boom, see how they all they all go back there. In addition, if you drop any cards into it, it'll also be sent back to the discard pile. And that is pretty much all the mod does. It's just got these fancy readouts and a little bit of easier scripting to take resources and return resources. So I want two wood and I want two gold and a VP. Then you just press these buttons and if you want to return them, just chuck them into the bin. And that is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so that's Deus. I hope you guys enjoy this. Remember, this isn't really my mod. I just did all the scripting to make my life easier when I play it. And I hope other people might want it, so I put it up there. And that be that, my friends. I will see you guys next time.